Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try Breathe by Anna Nalick. All right, you're going to need uh, five chords on the uke. You're going to need an A chord, fourth string, second fret, uh, third string, first fret. That's your A chord. You're going to need a G chord, third and first string, second fret, second string, third fret. You're going to need a D chord, uh, four, three, and two at the second fret, open first string. B minor, I'm going to bar the 2nd fret and hook my 3rd finger in 4th fourth, uh, fourth string 4th fret, just like that. And then an E chord is your 1st string 2nd fret, and then 4, 3, and 2 at the 4th fret. It's kind of hard to get that one in there with these big fingers. That's your E chord. Okay. Uh, let's see, how can I make this easy for you? I'm not sure. Uh, these things are confusing. So. Um, so the, let's talk about the verse. Uh, so the verse is pretty much, this, the chords are the same, it's just the way she plays it that varies. Okay, the, every time she says 2 a.m., so the first verse and the third verse, she says 2 a.m., and um, all you're going to do is mimic the piano, is just to uh, do an A, and just strum down strokes, four of them, to a G, to a D, and then it back to the A, and then you're going to repeat that, but you're going to change the strum. So the second time through, it's A, and you're going to get real fancy. You're going to go down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. So you kind of accent in that first big down. So down, down, up, down, up, and those are smaller. So to a G. So uh, let me play the first verse, uh, and I will uh, I'll try to yell out the chords, uh, just the way, just in case you didn't quite understand. So here it is. Uh, she says 2 a.m. and calls me because I'm still awake. So a to a G to a D. So that's your verse, your first verse and your third verse, okay? So later on in the song, when she says, 2 a.m., I'm still awake writing this song, if I get it all on paper. So that takes care of that verse later on, okay? And that's how she plays it. Uh, the other verse uh, in the song, she just does this drum the whole time. So it's really, the, the chords are the same, so it's, it's really not a problem, okay? Uh, let's see, what else can we learn here? So the, the chorus to the song is, because you can't jump the track, we're like cars on a cable. So that one's going to be, um, you're going to do two of those fancy strums on each one of these chords, and until you get to a certain point anyway. So most of them. Anyway, so uh, B minor, to a D, to an A, to an E, B minor, to a D, to an A, to an E, this one you stay on for four times, and then breathe is a G, D, to an A is four times, and G, D, to an A, four times on the A, okay? So some of the chords are two of those drums and some are four. You'll just have to kind of figure it out. You can do it. Uh, so it's B minor, D, A, E, and then you repeat that, B minor, D, A, E, but that E gets four strums at the end instead of two. And then the breathe part comes in and she does G, D, and then A, which gets the four strums, and then that repeats, G, D, A. So that's it. So that's the, because uh, you can jump the tracks, and then a D chord, and then an A chord, to an E chord, and then the B minor, to the D, to the A, to the E, she stays on it, and then 
the breathe part is a G to a D to an A. And then the G to a D to an A. Okay? So that's your chorus. And uh, really doesn't change every time the chorus comes in. The only time it changes is at the end of the song. Uh, and it, it really doesn't, uh, all they do is they repeat that breathe part, that whole breathe line a couple times, and that's really the only difference. All right, so before I forget, uh, you got your verse, your chorus, then you do your verse again, then your chorus again, then there's a bridge, which is a little different, then that verse three, uh, which is exactly like the first verse, and then the chorus, uh, the last chorus, okay? And that's your four meter song just in case I forget later. All right, so now let's talk about the, the second verse is, is, is really easy, it's just an A. So instead of hitting it like this, she just, goes, she just keeps this strum going. A, four times, to a G, to a D, to an A, and it just repeats. So the A, to the G, to the D, to the A. That's the part where it's uh, may he turn 21 at the fort of base, no, at the base of Fort Bliss. So that whole section. Then the chorus comes back in just the way we know it, and now we're off to the bridge. Okay, the bridge to breathe is a B minor for two, to a D, for two, A for two, to the E for two, B minor for two, D for two, A for two, and then E for actually four. And then at that point, they go back to this verse, the third verse, which is uh, 2 a.m., I'm still away writing this song, okay? So that bridge part, uh, it's pretty easy. It's B minor D A E, and then B minor D A E. But that E, the last E, gets four instead of two, and um, that part is just like uh, that first part of the chorus. And it's also uh, let's see. There's there's a light at each end of this tunnel. You shout, and you're just as far in as you'll ever be out. That's the bridge. Okay. Then you then you do that that uh, verse, which is the same as the first verse, and then you're on to the last chorus, which um, really is it's the same as the other chorus, it's just that you repeat the breathe part uh, at the end. So here, I'll play through it. This is, um, but you can't jump the tracks, right, the last time. B minor, to a D, to an A, to an E, B minor, D, to an A, to an E, four times, and then breathe is G, D, to an A, four times, and breathe, it's a G to a D to an A, and then they repeat that, G to a D, to an A, the last time you could hit the G once, breathe and then D, breathe and then A. Could end it like that if you like. Four, any way you want. All right, that's breathe. Uh, thank you, Anna Naylor. Lovely song. Uh, play more guitar. I'm, no, play more. Ooh. <laughs> Please subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching.